Thanks. All right, guys, so I'm paying 17 American dollars and I'm heading 40 minutes south from Da Nang to Hoi An, which is one of my favorite towns in all of Southeast Asia. You guys will see why in a second. Yes, this looks like the spot. It's like a party in here. <laughs> Thank you. And after a quick drive, I made it to the Hoi An Beach Resort. So I'm gonna be here for a couple nights and then at their sister property. Thank you. Oh, gotta get the welcome drink. Thank you. Oh my god, this is so good. Love it. All right, bags in the front, me in the back. <laughs> So as I mentioned, I love Hoi An. I'm here for two nights at the beach resort. They have their own private beach up front. They have two pools and I'm going to my room right now. And then after two nights here, I'm gonna be heading to the historic hotel. And they even got a buggy. I feel like back in Bangkok. <laughs> Must be one of the pools. This is my room? Oh wow. Oh wow, this is beautiful. You walk right in, you get a full bathroom over here. And a tub. Wow. Got a full bed right over here. We got a television. Oh my goodness. And I'm on like the river. This is like the river? The river. The river, okay. okay. This is beautiful. And the pool is right beside me. All right guys, my room is absolutely beautiful. I even have a view of the river and I'm directly across from their private beach so I'm super stoked to check out the beach later on. But right now I gotta get ready because at 2 p.m. I'm gonna jump on a shuttle and show you guys why Hoi An is one of my favorite towns. Thank you. And after a quick like 10, 15 minute drive, I made it to finally ancient Hoi An town. Now Hoi An means peaceful meeting place and in the 15th through 19th century it was used as a main port out here in Vietnam and it's absolutely beautiful. It's super, super cute and very, very romantic of a town and it's easily accessible. So, you know, you could either rent a motorbike, which we did last year for like five, six bucks for a full day or you could just walk around the entire town because it's not a big town to be honest with you. Now, some of the things that you're gonna notice out in Hoi An is there's a lot of shops and there's a lot of silk shops and tailors. I bought a suit last year out here in Hoi An for about 90 bucks and it's an absolutely beautiful tailored suit and some of the things out here in Hoi An to do is eat, relax, and just enjoy the sights, enjoy the views. It's super romantic out here. Now another thing that you're gonna notice that I absolutely love about Hoi An is silk lanterns are hung around all over the place, especially at night, which you guys will see later on. And basically they hang the silk lanterns to bring warmth and happiness to where they're at. And this is honestly one of my favorite towns in all of Vietnam. I absolutely love Hoi An. Now right here I'm coming up to one of the main canals over here so you can rent a boat and you can take it on a little trip. At nighttime, you could actually rent a boat and you could let lanterns go into the water which is kind of cool. You basically say a prayer, you make a wish and you let the lanterns go which is a really cool experience I did last year. So this is one of the main areas besides the canal. There's a lot of different shoppings, a lot of different restaurants, cafes you can check out. Look at all this and it's really really cute the architecture. It's like in an old French type building. behind me one of the famous spots in Hoi An is the Japanese bridge which was constructed in 1950 basically to connect people to the Chinese quarters around here there's a lot of Chinese Vietnamese French type architecture which really makes Hoi An a melting pot and that's one of the reasons why in 1999 UNICEFCO made it a world heritage site Darn it, they're closed today. So this is a famous banh mi spot out here in Vietnam, specifically in Hoi An. I had the banh mi last year from that spot. I think they were like 70 cents each and it was an absolutely delicious banh mi. Essentially it's like a sandwich with pork and different types of greens in it and it's a Vietnamese delicacy and it's absolutely delicious. I guess if there's no banh mi, let's go to the next best thing. 
All right, guys, you guys know me and my delicacies. I couldn't get banh mi sandwich, so I got the next best thing in Vietnam, beef tacos. I passed this like Mexican place on the way here and I texted Rachel, oh my god, I hope that the banh mi place is closed. And they were closed just for today, so I ended up heading to Mexican. I can't control myself, I gotta eat these tacos. 80,000, not no. too much. Not much of that. How much? No? <laughs> He didn't like my negotiation tactic. I pressed three and he's just like, nope. Nice. 70. 70. Yeah. Too much, too much. Oh, thank you. Okay, okay. 50? Okay, let's do it. Okay. So she negotiates a little bit better than the last guy. Basically, I'm paying 50,000 Vietnamese dong. It's around a little over $2, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna do a little boat ride around the area for 20 minutes. <laughs> Oh my god, this is super romantic out here. So it's like three, four bucks and you get like a 20 minute ride. This is, this is beautiful. Especially at nighttime, I bet. Oh, that's a big rat. Oh my god. Oh, I missed it. Thank you. What you say? See ya. And now across from the bridge, right by Kimmy's, I made it to the food market. So at nighttime, this place is popping. There's stalls everywhere. There's different Vietnamese food. There's like Vietnamese pizza, Vietnamese pancakes. There's a lot of like night catchers that they have, or dream catchers is what they call it. And uh, yeah, this is like the main area, as you can see. It's like food everywhere. And at nighttime again, this is absolutely popping. I love the food in this area. I'll get some food in a little bit. I'm just gonna keep roaming the streets and showing you guys some pretty cool spots out here in Hoi An. And this part of the town is the Instagram town. That's what they call it. Photo, photo, photo. Photo, 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 photo. If you're looking to get your shots on Instagram, this is the spot. All right guys, so right now I am actually eating a traditional meal at the Chef. It's right in Hoi An, the heart of Hoi An. And this dish is called Cao Lao. And I didn't make this dish up or anything like that. It's not related to me, but this is a delicious dish. It's a Hoi An traditional noodle served with pan-seared marinated pork, tenderloin, and local herbs and it's an absolutely delicious dish. There isn't any like soup base or anything like that, but the noodles is really delicious and I think this is the pork. Mm. The marinated pork is really, really good. And the sun is going down, so once the sun goes down, all the lanterns come out, the night market comes out, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna crush some cow lao and walk around for a little longer. All right guys, it is nighttime now. This is when the livelihood of Hoi An comes out. You'll see all the lanterns start lighting up, the bridges lighting up, and there's actually more people right now in the street than it is during the day, so. Oh my God, look at how many people out there. One boat, two boat, three boat, four boat, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 nine a million. Ugh, so many people. God, lantern game strong right over here. Wow. So I didn't even bother to negotiate. I got a lantern, wow. a medium sized lantern for 100,000 Vietnamese dong, the equivalent to like five bucks. I wanted to get one last year, but I didn't want to bring it across seas. I'm only going to bring it to Thailand, so yeah. not a bad price. So it's like pouring cats and dogs right now. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I made it to cover. The shuttle's supposed to be here at 7 30, so I got here like a half an hour early, so I still got about 25 minutes to wait. Oh my god, the rain came out of nowhere. <laughs> and we got some shuttle action. See you in two days, historic hotel. Alright guys, so I made it back to the Hoi An Beach Resort. I am clean, I am showered, I am super excited for my stay for the next two nights here before I head to their other hotel called the Hoi An Historic Resort, which is where the shuttle took me to and the shuttle took me back here to. That doesn't make any sense. But there's a shuttle that'll take you to their other hotel and the shuttle will come back here at different times so it's super convenient if you're trying to get into Hoi An. And this has been such an exciting vlog to show you guys. One of my favorite towns in all of Southeast Asia, Hoi An. It's super quaint, it's super cute, and it's very, very romantic. So you don't really need more than four or five nights in Hoi An to really experience what it's like to be out here in Southeast Asia in a little ancient town like Hoi An. 
as you saw, there's tons of tailors so you can get suits, there's tons of clothing shops, you can buy shoes, you can get lanterns, and it's super peaceful and it's super, super beautiful at night. So make sure you come out here with a couple. Don't do it solo like I did. And you guys will really, really enjoy Hoi An, one of my favorite towns in all of Southeast Asia. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I should be having one more vlog coming out to you guys from Vietnam in the next couple days before I head back out to Thailand. Thank you guys so much for watching. Smash that like button, comment down below, and make sure you guys hit the notification bell so you guys are notified for the next Vietnam vlog. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Oh, 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 oh,